If you're pretty simple or basic with your hair, then this mini twist routine that I'm going to show you guys today is definitely going to help with growing your hair out and retaining it. You need to make sure that you keep track of time with your hair. Like I started out on October the 30th and now it's day seven. And this way you can keep track of how your hair is growing, how your scalp is doing and everything else with growing your hair out. So with that being said, making sure that your scalp is clean the whole entire time that you have these mini twists in is very important. I would definitely say make sure you check out your scalp at least every day or every other day. Make sure there's no flakes or buildup. Right now, I'm going to be misting my hair with water. I do recommend if you are wanting your hair to grow to at least mist your hair with water and go in with an essential oil to make sure not only your hair is soothed and nice and calm, but also help with stimulating hair growth. Now, you don't have to go crazy with the oil that you choose, but I definitely think that it helps. So my oil of choice is the rose hip oil. I love this oil because it does definitely help stimulate hair growth, but it also helps soothe the scalp, as I said before. And if you have a dry or an itchy scalp, it helps. And if you don't have rose hip oil, you can definitely try tea tree oil. Any type of oil that you feel helps with um, dryness or stimulating growth definitely works. And like I said, I only use this about once a week. I don't go too crazy with essential oils because they're definitely strong. And if you use too much, it definitely can work against you. Now, if you have a problem with using the dropper, you can also use your finger to apply the oil to your scalp. Remember to treat your scalp um, kindly. Don't be too rough with it. Just go in and gently take your, gently massage this into your, your scalp and take your time. The last thing that you wanna do is miss a section of your hair. And while your hair is growing out, you want to make sure that each and every part of your scalp and your hair is getting properly treated the same so that it can grow out nice and even because if one side is dry and the other side is moisturized then what do you think is going to happen one side is going to grow out nicely and the other side well you might have breakage or split ends or things like that so definitely take your time you also want to go in and refresh your hair. I like to go in and use water and some form of leave-in that is moisturizing. This is going to help keep your hair well balanced. You took care of your scalp, now you need to take care of your ends to prevent any split ends from happening and that is what I'm doing right now. And again, make sure that you take your time. You don't wanna go by the look of your hair, you wanna go by the feel. Make sure that each and every part of your hair is saturated, not overly saturated, but saturated with the leave-in conditioner so that you know that you properly moisturized your hair. Now I know it looks like I'm just slapping this on, but I'm definitely going by feel, as I said before. Just go by feel and make sure that you're getting every section of your hair the way that you want it to be moisturized. And you do not have to do this every day. You can do this about once a week. Now I'm going in with a sealant and I decided to use hair food to seal my hair in. This hair food has coconut oil in there, vitamin E oil in there as well. You can use whatever you would like as a sealant, but my choice is hair grease because it never fails me. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm only concentrating on my ends. Now I do wash my hair as well, but I only do that as needed. And my hair with the mini twist will last up to two weeks without having to wash my hair. So you can wash your hair as often as you would like, but remember, make sure that you are keeping it simple. You also wanna do simple styles. Make sure that you keep your hands out of your hair so that you can prevent breakage from happening. 
You guys need to stay tuned and follow my journey with these mini twists as I grow out my hair. Don't forget if you're new to my channel to subscribe, share this video if you found this helpful. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching and I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Bye.